Hi guys, my name is Kendall and this handsome fella is Newt. I'm gonna give you a couple do's and don'ts and then we'll get you on your horses and get going. When we get you on your horses, we're gonna adjust your stirrups for you, make sure that you're nice and comfortable. As a general rule, you wanna ride with your saddle horn right here, even with their manes. That just lets you know that your saddle is centered on their body. So if for some reason it is not, um, you should just let me know, I'll check it out and adjust it for you. Now, these guys, we're gonna go up in a single file walking line. We ask that you stay um, in the order that we put you in. These guys have a bit of a pecking order, so um, just go ahead and stay in that order. If we need to change it up, we will let you know when and how to do that. Now, these guys are gonna follow along for the most part, but we give you steering instructions for obvious reasons. So that being said, these are your reins. This is like the steering wheel and brake of your car, so go ahead and hold on to them with at least one hand at all times. Um, no exceptions. Please don't let go of them for any reason. Um, most of these guys that we're taking out do what we call neck reining. What that means is you can hold your reins with one hand. If you want to go to the right, just take your hand over to the right. If you want to go to the left, take your hand over to the left. Some of our guys uh, do what we call plow reining. That means that you're going to take your reins in both hands, pull directly left, pull directly right. These guys are going to follow along pretty nicely. And um, these guys are going to try to eat on the trails. So when their heads go down, Pull straight up and give them a kick and a kiss to go. Um, and then uh, to get these guys to move, you just want to make sure that you have nice even slack in there. Uh, give them a kick and a kiss to go, and they will. To so stop or slow down, just pull straight back to your belly button right here. Um, you don't want to keep pulling back because they'll back up. Uh, other than that, we will be going up and down some hills. So when we go up a hill, you want to lean forward slightly in your saddle. When we go downhill, you want to lean back and put your feet forward. Now we do have saddlebags on all of our horses. So <laughs> if you need to put anything in there, we have saddlebags on all of our horses. And then lastly, to get on these guys, you can get on from the ground or we do have a mounting block available. Um, for our taller guys, it's a little bit easier. And that's it.